Hey everybody, welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm here with Steph Zamorano and Ron Placone. Hello. Howdy, howdy. So here's how Bernie reacted to the... Uh, no, Bernie, I got to tell you, you know, I mean, Bernie's not perfect. He's not an angel. He's not a saint. He's not a genius. He's just a progressive. And um, and in most other parts of the world, he'd be a moderate, <laughs> right? So uh, Bernie's a progressive, and uh, he's not, uh, what do they call the uh, pope that he can't make a mistake? What is that called? Infallible. He's not infallible. 12 years of Catholic school. 12 years. I know. I went <laughs> 12 years of Catholic school, too. And I could, apparently. And I couldn't remember that goddamn term. So he's not infallible, right? So it was. A, I think it was a mistake for him to not run third party and make Hillary move. And, you know, all there's a lot of stuff. He, you know, to ask progressives to get behind the thing that you just spent the whole year running against is kind of a weird thing. But that's what happens. Okay. Here's how he reacted to uh, Keith Ellison winning. Ready? So he's on with Jake Tapper. That's his real name, not his porn name. And uh, Jake Tapper asks, <laughs> asks him about, because uh, Bernie made a statement saying that the status quo and the, thing, the way things, well, here's what he said. And quote, at a time when Republicans control the White House, the U.S. House, U.S. Senate, and two-thirds of all state houses, it is imperative that Tom Perez understands that the same old, same old is not working. So okay. Uh, that's why they elected Tom Perez. Because they want the same old, same old. You understand that, right, Bernie? Bernie, you get that? I think he does get that. He knows. He knows. So what's the point of making that statement exactly? Is the point of making that statement like, oh, I'm going to make sure Tom Perez better be progressive. Or I'm going to start saying shit. Tom Perez, by the way, if you read the WikiLeaks emails, was, uh, was one of the guys uh, offering his services to put a knife in you, Bernie. That's his words. Put a knife. That's Tom Perez. He was going to take credit for it afterwards, though, because, you know, transparency. Yeah, transparency. Right? That was his plan. The same old, same old is not working. That's what Benner, Bernie Sanders says. Jake Tapper asked him about it. Let's see what Bernie says now. Senator, did the same old, same old win? Well, yes, the same old, same old did win. That's Barack Obama's hand-picked candidate. Are you kidding me? Yes. Well, look. Uh, Keith ran a great campaign. Uh, he took on, in essence, Democratic insiders, and yet he came close to winning. That was a very impressive effort when you realize that he was playing inside the establishment's house. And let's remember, Keith Ellison is also an establishment Democrat. Even though he did endorse Bernie Sanders uh, during the primary, uh, he still... He, by right now, he's the dep he's the deputy chair of the of the DNC. That's what he is. He's going to be serving with, with shoulder to shoulder with Tom Perez. <laughs> and, he, and he definitely had some missteps uh, with progressives because I mean there were people even tweeting some videos that we did back in December about that. Mm -hmm. Oh really? Yeah, I didn't see those tweets, but well, he certainly had missteps. I mean, when he came out and did that thing about how Hillary Clinton won fair and square, it's just like why? What is the point? So that's him trying to curry favor with the donor class so well let's go but right now i think tom perez who was a very very good secretary of labor has a real opportunity in his hands and i hope he seizes it and that is to understand that in fact the way the oh just please oh please dnc please but that's why he i hope he does the right thing i hope barack obama does the right thing in dapple i hope barack barack obama does the thing with tpp i hope barack obama does the right thing with the occupy i hope barack obama does the right thing with the public option i hope the uh jimmy we're just gonna let it play out we're going to let it play. I hope Barack Obama does the right thing in <laughs> Afghanistan. I hope Barack Obama does the right thing in Syria and Libya and Lebanon and Somalia and Yemen. And... I hope. Oh, I just really hope. That's all this fucking, that's all this is. Get ready to be let down, Bernie. They just told, how much louder could they be screaming at Bernie Sanders, go the fuck away? No. Tom isn't going to take this as an opportunity because if he was, he wouldn't be running against Keith Ellison. Keith Ellison was the only opportunity and you guys blew it on purpose only to make sure that there wasn't a chance that a progressive would take over the DNC. That's what that was all about.
That's about making sure our first order of business as Democrats is to make sure progressives are capped out. And why won't Bernie just say that? Why won't? Because that is what they're doing. The Democratic Party has been run for decades, has not worked. We need a total transformation. We've got to open uh, up the... So that's not a total... Tra- that's not even close. So I guess what he's saying... Uh, why do you keep protecting? So Bernie, half so half of me thinks what he's saying is he's like, hey, look, the Democrats are screwed up. We need a total transformation, and this isn't going to work, which is what he's saying. Mm-hmm. So then, why do you still hanging around with the goddamn Democrats? What are you doing? Start your own party. Start your own goddamn party, and then the Democrats are fucked. And then they gotta come to progressives. And then if they don't, who cares? We get the same government anyway. More people consider themselves independent than consider themselves a Democrat or a Republican. So why do we keep playing it? Why does he keep playing this stupid game inside that stupid party that is bent on being stupid and shitting on progressives and moving the country farther in the wrong direction? As Nancy Pelosi say, it's a right angle going in the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's Look our, at Steph's hands. That's our country. Yeah. So he again, it's just this whole thing of well, I'm gonna keep big. I can't wait to. It's it's it, it, being a progressive in the Democratic Party is just like I can't wait for my next disappointment. I wonder how it's gonna happen and who it's gonna uh. deliver it. I wonder where it's gonna come from. I bet it'll be on the st- stupidest little thing. We gotta hold their feet to the fire. We couldn't even get $15 minimum wage in the goddamn platform. We couldn't get an anti-TPP in the platform. We couldn't get an anti-fracking thing in the platform. We couldn't get a fossil fuel tax. We couldn't get a carbon tax in the platform. These people are Republicans. And Bernie still, I hope, oh, nope, they're my friends. We got to work together. Bernie, it's done. What do you think the chances? Uh, let me ask. What do either of you think the chances of Tom Perez doing anything progressive? Uh, in, in in Spanish, cero, zero. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. What kind of progressive uh, th- stand is he going to take? You tell me single payer? Because here's what the Democrats need. Right now, the country is looking for an answer. And the Democrats are offering nothing. They're offering a non-answer rebuttal to Donald Trump. Their answer is, his answer's bad. What's your answer? Nothing. Just like when the Republicans say, we're going to repeal the uh, Obamacare. Well, what's your replacement? Nothing. That's what the Democrats have for Trump. What's your replacement? The same shit that you guys rejected last election? That's what we have. Mm-hmm. We have watered-down versions of everything. So what the Democrats need to do is have a bold plan. They need to come out and say single payer, free college, end the wars, invest that money back at home. Bam! I got a platform that will win. Anti fracking, p- free college, single payer health care, end the wars, invest the money back here. Winner. See, Winner. Democrats aren't saying anything. None of them are saying anything like that. None of them are saying that. That was Bernie's message in the primaries, and it was a winner. They had to cheat to keep a guy out who had no corporate money. Every Democrat, established Democrat in the country was against him. Everybody in the media was against him. They had to all to get together to, to kill a guy with that. And all he had was that message. That's all he had. Well, Jimmy, we need to compromise. Look, I bet Tom Perez will not be anti-fracking, but I bet he'll call for some transparency on what's in the fracking fluid. <laughs> huh? right. Small victories, guys. <laughs> So Bernie goes on to working people, to young people and make it crystal clear that the Democratic Party is going to take on Wall Street. It's going to take on the greed of the pharmaceutical industry. It's a fucking joke, Bernie. When and, and, and he, they need to make it crystal clear. I'm going to make it crystal clear to you, Bernie. And I think you already know. The Democrats are not getting out of bed with Wall Street. They're going to keep taking the corrupting money of Wall Street, which keeps them working against the interests of unions and working people. 
and they're going to stay in bed with Big Pharma, which is why your bill to reimport drug, cheaper drugs from Canada so Americans can piggyback off the welfare state in Canada is not going to happen. Because they're in bed with Big Pharma. What do you mean he's got to stand up? When have the Democrats ever stood up to Wall Street? They're the enablers of Wall Street. They're in Wall Street's bitch. They repealed Mm -hmm. the New Deal banking legislation so they could fuck over the country while stuffing their pockets full of billions and trillions of dollars. And guess who had to bail them out? Working people who lost their houses bailed them out. Guess what they lost? Nothing. Bernie. What are you fucking talking about? This is all just, this is what Bob Dylan would call the idiot wind. This is idiot wind. This is nonsense talk. Unless you're doing it for a different reason. What, you know what I mean? Like, what's the point of him saying this? I, I mean, at this point, I'm wondering that, too. I, you know, I mean, we've talked about on this show, and, and you've said this, and we've all said this, that, you know, we need people working within and outside, you know, starting movements and stuff like that. And as far as working within... I don't have the patience for it anymore as an individual, and and I kind of am at this point wondering why Bernie doesn't step into another place too, and and step into another party. I mean, I mean, I think but isn't gotta... this the time to do it? If any time the yes. time to do it is after the announcement of Tom Perez yes. leading the Democratic Party, yeah. that doesn't represent any of our needs at all. This is the man that represents my needs. This is the guy who has more of a vision for our country than anybody in the Democratic leadership positions. Well, that's because nobody in a Democratic leadership has a vision of anything. That Nancy Pelosi said, "We're not going to change." That's no vision. Right. That's not zero vision. They're not changing. They go from Debbie Washerman Shills to Donna Brazil to Tom Perez. They're not changing. So let's hear what else he has to say. It's going to take on corporate America that is shutting down plants in this country and moving our jobs Mm -hmm. abroad. The idea that Trump thinks that the Republican Party is going to be the party of working people when he has a point. Well, the idea that anybody thinks the Democrats are going to be the party of working people, Bernie. Do you understand? Stop with the Donald Trump shit. I don't know what fucking Bernie's doing. I really, really don't know what he's doing. Do you know what he's doing? I'm not kidding. Well, I think he's still working on the outreach thing. I mean, I, I I think that he's great for that position, first of all. If I had any hope from something happening from within, it was the fact that Bernie was in charge of outreach. But, you know, they keep slapping the hand at every opportunity, you know, that they don't give any olive branch. And it almost sounds like... I mean, sometimes people almost sound like a abuse victim of this. Well, we need to compromise yes. now. We need to just, well, I guess we just need to unite. It's not like, no, it, it is. We're getting slapped down every opportunity they get. The game's rigged at this point, what guys. What they should say is, hey, look, we know we know we lost to Donnie Tynahan. Yes. And that should end anybody who's in politics career. That should end their career. And I appreciate you not making me get out of politics. So... As a thank you for you doing that, I will then uh, shut up and let you run the next election or two. But they're not. They're doing the exact opposite. They're like, you keep apologizing. It's still your fault. We're going to keep doing things the same way. Now get behind us and pretend like we're doing something different. That's that's what unite means. That's what's going on right now. Let's well, just... you know what, Jimmy, when, when I'm watching Bernie Sanders speak here, it makes me uncomfortable. It makes it, me uncomfortable. It con- it's this constant feeling of... Uh, crumbs! I, I need crumbs! Yes, but also I get the feeling, I'm like, what do they have on Bernie Sanders? What do they? That, they, that he is so compelled to, to speak on behalf of the Democratic Party. Like, I, I just want to say, you know what, Bernie? Break away. Move. Step away from the Democratic Party. Democrats. It's horrible. It's horrible. And it makes me uncomfortable. And I feel like somebody who I really believed in has now been compromised. Yes, I I feel the same way. Uh, I, you know, I, I, I don't think he's been compromised in a sense like he's he's knuckling under or anything. I think he thinks this is the best way to go. I don't think that Bernie's integrity is being challenged here. I just think that he thinks politically this is probably the best way to go, maybe, and who know I have to reassign. I can't turn my back on the entire government. I need these people to pass legislation. So I'm sure there's a lot of thoughts going on in his head. I get that. I don't think he's selling out or anything, mm-hmm. but but this this is him like not knowing what to do, I think, except say the same thing he's been saying since he started running, which is we have to change. 
Except you're not going to change the Democrats. I don't. I I think right. that's what he needs to understand. It seems like it's pretty crystal effing clear that we're not going to change the Democrats. That Barack Obama still has a big hand in deciding what happens in the Democratic Party, just as much as the donor and lobbyist class. I mean, if the White House tapped anybody. They could have tapped him to be the the DNC chair. I mean, he I don't know if he's a but, senator. But, he probably wouldn't take it, but... Ellis? Oh, oh Keith Ellison. Yeah, I thought you meant Bernie. No, I mean Bernie, but yeah, Keith Ellison is a did. senator too. All you know, it would so. take... That's, Steph, that's a great point. All it would have taken was for Barack Obama to go, Keith Ellison, hey, Chuck Schumer's behind him. Let's go. It's all right. Hey, there's there's our olive branch to the progressives. Yes. There's our olive branch. Let's include they won't even, you. They won't even do that. They won't even do that. And then they went, oh, come on, bite the bullet and vote for him. Fuck you. Fuck off. Go lose by yourself. I know I let you lose last time, too. And I'm going to let you lose next time. And you can blame me all you want. It's so fucking, it's, it's, how pathetic you are that you still want to blame anybody else except the people who are in power. Anybody blaming anybody else for Hillary Clinton's loss besides the people in power. Is a is a pathetic glass jawed loser. Uh, let's listen. One thought on what Bernie might be up to, though, he might just be kind of playing it sort of safe until after twenty eighteen. <laughs> like, like honestly, like he might be like, well, let's get a big victory in the midterm, and then. But we're not going to really get a big mid- victory in the midterm without with no- again. You can't beat Trump with nothing. And you're coming, you're going to try and win the midterms with the same fucking corporatist bullshit? You're going to have Tom Perez handpicking who to support in the Demo- in, in Congress and in the Senate? That's the guy. I agree, but it's not enough time to, like, start a whole new party. I mean, it wouldn't... I think it is. You think? Yes. So I, I just... I, mean, I do. We need more time than that. Uh, Let's start it now. If not now, when? <laughs> when, 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 when? You know what hey, not- when, when Lincoln became president, the Republicans were considered a regional party. So this idea, we have to completely re- replace the Democratic Party in every fucking city, in every district, in every county, and, and everywhere, or else we can't do it. I reject that idea. We can start a third party. It doesn't We don't have to have a fucking member in every city council district. We start a third party and we start moving. Maybe it's a regional party when it starts. Maybe it comes out of California and maybe it's New York. And, who the fuck cares? But going along with the Democrats is a loser. That's a fucking loser. And let's remember when the Republicans won, when, when Lincoln won, the Republican Party was a fucking regional party at the time. So this this that that's another thing that the th- that was thought up in a think tank, a corporate think tank of well, you can't take over; it's too hard. You take such you can't do it. You can never do it, and so we'll never, ever, ever, ever be able to t- to turn change anything. That's bullshit. And if Bernie Sanders left the party right now, there would be a new party. There would be a new party, and half the because half the Democratic Party would go. There'd be a new party, and then what would happen? Maybe we'd have a coalition government. Maybe then the corporate Democrats would have to actually make concessions to the progressives. Maybe then. They ain't doing it now. So I say Bernie starts a third party and makes the Democrats come to him because they can't win without him and they know it. He's the fucking, he's the leading politician the Democrats have. By the way, who the else they have besides him? Nobody. Elizabeth Warren's going to lose her freaking reelection seat. It's it's close. Elizabeth Warren, who, by the way, silent when it comes to really standing up for progressive things. Oh, come on, Jimmy. She went and stood. uh, With Dapple? Dapple, She's not there. She's not a Dapple. She wasn't there. She she didn't endorse Bernie Sanders. She didn't. Yeah, she could stand up to Trump, which is the easiest fucking thing in the world. So let's listen. He has some more to say. People to his administration who want to cut Social Security, want to cut Medicare, want to cut Medicaid. Yeah, he's talking about Trump who want to provide a budget which will give huge tax breaks to billionaires like Trump and then cut back on education and health care for the American people. If that's a party that stands for working people, God help us all. So I think our job now is to rally the grassroots to take Trump on and to fight for a progressive agenda. So how do you rally the grassroots to get behind a corporatist from a party who just screwed over progressives. 
Le- just can't stop, can't help themselves. How do you rally the grassroots to get behind that shit? That's a pipe dream. It, you, did, you didn't rally the troops for Hillary, and you ain't rallying the troops for this motherfucker. It, it would take a hell of a sales pitch. I mean, absolutely. But he, but I think... He couldn't do it. When he was going out stumping for Hillary, you know how many people were showing up? A hundred people to see Bernie stump mm-hmm. for Hillary. You know how many people... Showed up to see Bernie stump for progressive ideas tens of thousands at a time. So here comes another question. Um, uh, President Trump's tweet suggesting that uh, the system was rigged against Keith Ellison in the same way that the DNC system was rigged against you in the primaries. Does he have a point? No, he doesn't have a point. Yes, he does. Superdelegates... They rigged the system against you. And the same thing here. Who's voting? It's insiders. But that's, you know, it just just, uh, just seems stupid at this point. What the system is. And one of the things that Tom is going to have to change. That's what the system is. to figure out how we elect national democratic leaders. I'm not quite impressed with the process that now exists. But the bottom line here, right? Oh, so he's saying that Tom has to change the way we elect guys like Tom. (laughs) <laughs> I'm sure that's what he'll do. I'm sure his first order of business will make it harder for himself to get reelected. <laughs> I don't want. I have to answer too many questions. I got to make this more difficult in the future. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that yesterday? Among other things, there were 150 rallies all across this country, and they weren't rallies for a return to democratic neoliberal corporatism. That's not what those rallies are for. Most of them in front of Republican congressional offices where citizens of this country are telling their members of Congress have the guts to come out and meet with us. Explain to us why you're going to repeal the Affordable Care Act, throw 20 million people off of health insurance, do away with pre-existing conditions. Don't hide. Don't simply run to your wealthy campaign contributors. Talk to your constituents. And you are seeing that movement, millions of people engaged we are going to transform this country. Me- and we're going to transform this country by getting more corporate Democrats who turn their back on workers when it comes to the crucial time to stand up for them. Hey, the next live Jimmy Dore show is March 4th. That's a Saturday. Get your tickets right below. The next one after that is March 20th. The shows sell out really fast. So get your tickets right now. Links right there.